There's something special happening in Oswego. A new story is unfolding. It's a story of new families, new people, and truly revitalizing neighborhoods. It's the story of a waterfront community overlooking Lake Ontario and the beautiful Oswego River and the Oswego Harbor. It's a city that's building on its strengths and evolving to become a post-industrial Oswego with new chapters filled with a growing port, revitalized and adapting businesses downtown, restored homes and neighborhoods that are truly revitalizing, and more chapters filled with new ideas, new neighbors, new partnerships, new innovative ideas that build on the city's streets. But it's ultimately a story about a new way of looking at Oswego, new people, new families, as well as longtime residents reinvesting in the community, major local institutions and residents who are partnering together, transforming their neighborhoods step by step, building on its history, but actually looking into the future. They are the ones who are writing this story. Neighborhood is so important in this community, and it's really true in our Moncom Park neighborhood. The Oswego Renaissance Association Pride Grant allowed us to repair and repaint the perimeter fence around historic Moncom Park, as well as replace the bench slats. And without the support and the teamwork of friends, neighbors, and family, it would not have been possible. If you look at our street, on our side of the street, every single house, without exception, between Seneca and Schuyler has had major improvements done in the past couple years. Every house. I, I'm serious. I, I think the ORA and its efforts, it's the best thing that's happened to Oswego since I've moved here and uh, I go back to my college days. So Porch Fest uh, happened in September and all the musicians played for free. Uh, so it was just a, a true community event. Year after year, my wife does a lot of decorating and we've had a lot of compliments and the more compliments you have about your home, you feel very proud of it. It's so much more than fixing your homes and improving your homes. It's the people that have joined together. Uh, we decided to participate in the Oswego Renaissance Association to bring pride back into our neighborhood. Uh, there's a lot of older people that live in this neighborhood, a lot of younger families that are moving in. It was nice to bring the sense of community back. I find it interesting to drive around the city to different neighborhoods, east side, west side, and see the improvements people are making, and it, it's visible. I know there's one neighborhood on the east side that's putting lampposts up in front of all the homes, and I, 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 I'm hoping that maybe our neighborhood can do that next year. I think it's a great idea. One of the members of our, of our block had the idea to install lampposts, and we all thought it was a great idea. All of us install these lampposts in front of our houses, and now they're all up, and you should see the street at night. It's, it's really cool. I think the biggest thing that the Oswego Renaissance Association has, has done for us in particular is that it's really given us confidence to put some money into our house. We actually, I and mean, we have four kids, and this is not a huge house, but we've decided to be committed to stay here, and we feel confident with that decision now. And so the Renaissance Association has helped us gain confidence. I mean in that it's okay for us to put money into our house, invest in our communities. Um, and one thing that the Oswego Renaissance Association project has done is really, I feel now much more integrated into my neighborhood. Um, I know my neighbors much better. I know people on surrounding blocks now, just from having been out in front more doing this work. There's something special happening in Oswego. A new story is unfolding. It's a story of a community restoring its parks and its neighborhoods, and a growing list of events for families and children. Building by building, we're rediscovering the historic integrity of our downtown architecture. It at once embodies small town America, but at the same time, it's what families look for as a center of gravity in their communities. It's a story of a budding renaissance, but it's based on new ideas, 
and a strategy and hard work. We must reinvent ourselves and we are doing just that. It's a story that's no longer focused on fixing what's not working, but rather building on what is working. There's something special happening in Oswego. A new story is unfolding. And we're only beginning to tell it.